Hi, my name is Mark Donaldson, and today I'm going to present to you um, some PowerPoint slides, as six in total, on why I became a vegan, why I became and why I remain a vegan. Uh, this talk uh, took place back in 2013, and it uh, took place over a series of weeks during a lunch and learn when I was um, an employee at a major bank in Canada. And basically, it was me trying to answer the question of how I can achieve optimal health so I could do the things that I need to do every day and, um, you know, have quality of life well into old age. Uh, a lot of people around me were sort of suffering from a lot of um, chronic disease. And um, when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, but um, I wasn't accepting that as the answer. So I decided to take it upon myself to investigate further how to maintain and optimize my health so that I could uh, maximize the quality of life and to do the things that I really enjoyed doing. So we're going to get started on uh, this, this talk. So I basically gave this talk during a lunch and learn. And it was about 30 minutes. Each one's about 30 minutes in length. And I lost a lot of sleep week after week doing all the research for it. I hope you find it valuable and I uh, hope you learned something. So Nutritarian Lunch and Learn, why I became a vegan. What is food? So part one is going to be what is food. So uh, why I became a vegan. So pretty straightforward. Uh, I was really sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> I suffered from recurring migraines. I was diagnosed in fall of 2012 with rheumatoid arthritis in my hip and knee on the right-hand side. Uh, I had tendonitis in both elbows. I had low energy towards the end of the day, plus, plus lethargy. Poor sleep quality. Skin had uneven skin tone. Prone to sickness and occasional rashes and hives with unknown cause. Like, these things would just happen. I didn't know what caused them. And I had seasonal allergies. Like, I had to take Claritin, sometimes two. Um, so... How did I become a vegan? I began with a fast for three days. Really, the fast was more like four days because uh, I, I just decided I had enough of my migraines. So I, I, I was diagnosed a migraine sufferer. I had a really bad migraine one day that caused temporary paralysis on one side of my face. Put me in the hospital. And um, that's when I, after I came home, after a 10 and a half hour wait to get an MRI, I jumped on the internet and started looking at how to prevent migraines or how to prevent them. So um, I found out that eating a plant-based diet worked, and I did try that for six months years ago, uh, back in like 2000 and, let's see, 2006, I think it was. But I, I, it lasted uh, only a few months, and I kind of forgot about it as things went back to normal. But hmm. So then I had to figure out, you know, how to qu how figure out quickly how to break my fast. So it's one thing to start a fast, but it's another thing, how do you end one? So I found Dr. Joel Furman's book uh, through doing a Google search at the world's biggest bookstore. So I ran down the street and picked it up at the time. It's since closed in Toronto. Um, so I wanted to follow someone who dedicated their entire life to holistic health and healing the natural way through uh, nutrition. And everything he advised on completing a fast on my own happened for me. It was, there was no guesswork. Everything he said in the book uh, occurred exactly as he said it said it would. So what was the outcome of my fast? Well, after those three to four days, um, all my migraines went away in 24 hours. That was the first thing. So this is a water fast, entirely water fast. Second, my mental acuity just was really heightened. And um, my thoughts, very clear. I could, it was very sharp. I had increased energy levels. So at that time I was training for triathlon. And this time I was switching after my fast to a vegan diet and I pretty much doubled my lap in the pool in like half the time. <laughs> so 1600 meters in 40 minutes was unbelievable. I couldn't believe how much energy I had. I slept better than a baby. Like it was such an amazing deep sleep I had. Um, I felt very light and free. Like I wasn't loaded down or weighted, weighed down by anything. I felt engaged with everyone around me, like more connected. I didn't, I just stopped, I stopped taking painkillers. Um, all gone, no more painkillers for the chronic arthritis and uh, flare-ups of joints and stuff. 
So my fast started on approximately June 12th and ended about June 14th or June 15th. And um, so what about my vegan lifestyle? So what became of that and my health? So you can see, I, I quickly put this stuff together. So, um, so I started with the book, um, Fasting and Eating for Health by Dr. Joel Furman. I bought it uh, at the store. I read it in literally, I read it in two days straight. I couldn't put it down. It was such an eye-opening read. And I followed this advice. And then I immediately after my fast, I became a plant-based eater. It was either go big or go home. So I basically put my, my life and my health in Dr. Joel Furman's hands. So fasting, his book covers fasting for physical rejuvenation and what to expect. Understanding health, the correlation between health and disease and heart disease and its reversal through diet, fasting and diet alone. Diabetes and reversal through optimal nutrition, autoimmune disease and reversal, including arthritis in particular and overweight and other chronic medical conditions and also references and also food addiction, believe it or not. So what has following Dr. Joel Furman's guidance and direction done for me? And why am I sharing with you all? Who wants to spend their lunch learning about food coming from a vegan anyway? So Dr. Joel Furman came up with this equation called the, uh, the, nu the nutrition equation. So your health is equal to the nutrients consumed divided by the number of calories consumed. So H is your health divided by N over C. Pretty straightforward. So what does this mean? It means you are what you eat. So you have to remember that cliche. Everything you eat, you become. All your cells, everything. Every living cell in your body becomes what you eat. So you have to say to yourself every time you sit down before you have a meal, especially in the beginning of this transition. So going back to this equation, so basically you want to maximize the amount of nutrients you consume and minimize or, or increase the amount of nutrients you consume and per calorie or decrease the number of calories per soon. And they should be plant-based because you get the maximum amount of nutrition for the least amount of calories. Uh, so what's the definition of food? We start with the dictionary definition and it's any nourishing substance that is eaten, drunk, or otherwise taken into the body to sustain life, provide energy, promote growth. Sustain life sticks out, provide energy as well. So we want to promote healthy growth. It sounds pretty straightforward. So food is anything that's good for you. And what is good food? Now we all can eat junk food and it makes you feel good, but it's not necessarily good for you. So what is good food? Chronic diseases and illnesses from bad food or lack of good food. So no pill, so it's important to note, no pill, cream or medication can match the same results of curing and reversing many of the chronic diseases and fasting followed by eating a nutrient diet, rich diet can. So all medicines that treat the symptoms of illness are toxic to the body and they usually come with one or more or many side effects. We introduce toxins into the body to treat specific symptoms, but they don't cure disease. That's a very important uh, fact. All toxins have side effects, both natural and synthesized. So if you remember uh, late night TV commercials or weekend about Celebrex and <clears throat> Prilosec and Viagra and Plavix, all these things are related to poor dietary choices. In other words, there's a pill for that. There's a pill for everything. So chronic disease for bad food. We are what we eat. What we eat over time manifests in what we become in our bodies. What manifests depends on what we eat or what we don't eat. So how severe the manifestation depends on the severity and duration of what we ate or didn't eat over, over time, right? <clears throat> so can we stop or undo years of abuse to our bodies from foods we eat or don't eat? Yes, we certainly can. We can undo years of abuse to our bodies from foods we ate or didn't eat by making healthy changes now. So the sooner you start is the sooner you can re return back to health. So how does it work? And do I have to give up the food that I love? So some people may think, oh, I don't like what this vegan is presenting. I'm going to leave now and eat ice cream or my favorite fast food. And uh, sometimes those who find this information too painful to listen to or read should leave now. This is part of my lunch and learn. So in other words, you can't get something for nothing. You want to eat healthy so that way you can maximize the benefit. Remember the laws of conservation of energy and of mass, right? It can neither, it can neither be created nor destroyed but it can be only converted from one form to another. So therefore, the food you're eating in terms of uh, nutrients per calorie 
uh, turns into what you are and provides the energy you need to sustain life. So you can only convert energy and mass from one form to another. So remember, you are what you eat. So some of the negative effects of eating foods deficient in nutrients include heart disease, asthma, eczema, psoriasis, atherosclerosis, obesity, angina, allergies, erectile dysfunction, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, fistula, Crohn's disease, and many, many, many more. So what are healthy foods and what do they do to make us healthy? So I'm going to cover that in part two of the presentation. These are some of the references here at the end of the presentation here. Um, yeah, Brendan Brazer. So these are some popular YouTubers and uh, online sites that uh, I came across at the time. And some websites for references. Okay, thank you very much. I will uh, stay tuned for stay tuned for part two coming up next. Thanks. Bye.